Welcome to the next in this series of videos looking at how to use the ERP system. In this video we'll look at fleet management, how to add vehicles and trailers, how to assign vehicle drivers so that the system automatically allocates vehicles to jobs, and how to set up vehicle and trailer events so that the system prompts you when MOTs, insurance inspections and other events are due. Everything to do with fleet management is accessible from the Fleet tab. You've got the Vehicle Directory, where you can add your fleet vehicles and related details. You've got the Vehicle Event Directory, for adding and updating vehicle events. The Vehicle Defect Directory, for adding information about vehicle defects. And the Vehicle Service Directory, for adding and updating vehicle service records. Then for trailers, you have the Trailer Directory, where you can enter information about your fleet trailers. Plus, there are the Trailer Defect and Trailer Service Directories. Finally, you have fuel transactions directories. If you have a card system in place allowing drivers to pay for fuel, the transactions are recorded and displayed here along with vehicle odometer readings. To add a company vehicle, you'll need to open the vehicle directory. Current vehicles display by default, but you can also view past vehicles and subcontractors' vehicles. To add a new vehicle, click Add. In part one of the vehicle details form, you'll need to enter the vehicle's registration details, including the depot it's registered to, registration date and purchase date. The vehicle ref field can be used to enter an internal reference for the vehicle. You can select whether or not the vehicle is also used as a private vehicle, and also whether the vehicle belongs to a subcontractor. You can use the status menu to specify whether the vehicle is in service. If the vehicle must be used with a particular trailer, select it here. When you're ready, click Next. In Part 2, Vehicle Details, you'll have the main details about the vehicle, including its registration number, make, model, vehicle type, body type, colour and fuel type. This information can be found on the vehicle's V5 form. When you're done, click Save and Continue. The new vehicle displays in the Edit Vehicle Details screen. You can add and edit details about the vehicle in the available fields as necessary. You can also select which items of equipment the vehicle has, such as cameras, tow bar, handrails and the number of seats. Don't forget to save the edited vehicle record. Vehicles have various additional tabs where you can view, and in many cases add and update, things like accidents, defects and events relating to the vehicle, which we'll look at shortly. You can also view vehicle related purchase orders, invoices and credits. To associate the vehicle with a particular driver, you'll need to select the Drivers tab. Click Add. Select the employee assigned to drive the vehicle. Then save. We've added the vehicle's driver. It's possible to assign multiple drivers to a vehicle. If there are multiple drivers, you can check the primary field to make a listed driver the vehicle's primary driver. We'll click save and return to save the new vehicle record and return to the vehicle directory. You can see that the vehicle has been added and that the driver has been assigned. The vehicle will now be available for selection when scheduling work in the planner. If an operative is assigned to a job who is recorded as the vehicle's driver, the vehicle is selected automatically. Note that assigning a driver to a vehicle is optional. You may not want the system to auto-assign vehicles when allocating operatives to jobs and might prefer to select a free vehicle independently. See the video on allocating resources to jobs. When you've added a vehicle, you can add a vehicle event such as a service, road tax renewal, MOT, VED renewal or inspection with the system notifying you when the event is due. To add a vehicle event, hover your mouse over the Fleet tab and open the Vehicle directory. Make sure you've selected the correct depot, then find the vehicle and click the Edit Vehicle icon. 
To add a vehicle event, click the Events tab. Then click Add. Note that you can also add vehicle events by selecting the Vehicle Events directory from the Fleet menu. In the Vehicle Event Details window, select the event type, such as Service, MOT, Inspection or any other available option. And select the status. For example, select Booked In to indicate that an MOT is booked for the vehicle. There are some important dates to enter. The event date is the date on which the event, the MOT for example, is due. The due date is the date when you need to take action, which is likely to be ahead of the event date. For example, you might set a due date a week before the MOT to get the paperwork together. If you want to receive an email alert, you can enter an alert event date to remind you about the event, and perhaps also enter an alert due date to remind you about the due date. You'll need to provide brief details about the event. You have the option of uploading relevant paperwork about the event. When you're ready, click Save. Then click one of the Save buttons at the bottom left of the edit screen. The vehicle event is saved. If you entered an alert event date, you'll receive an email alert on that date. After the event has taken place, in this case a vehicle MOT, you can follow these steps to update the vehicle record, for example if the vehicle needs to be booked in for a service or repair. You can add fleet trailers and trailer events in the same way as for vehicles. Hover your mouse over the Fleet tab and select the Trailer directory. To add a trailer, click Add. And record trailer details, including the trailer reference, its depot, status, for example whether it's in service, and trailer type, then click Save. The trailer will be available for allocation when scheduling work in the planner and is selected automatically if it's linked to a vehicle. Like vehicles, trailers have additional tabs where you can record defects, repairs and service information, add comments, upload related documentation and view related purchase orders, invoices and credits.